Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is once again revisit the profile operation. Now, the profile operation is very versatile, as with uh, many of the other commands within 1CNC, but in this example, what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how you can use the profile operation to concentrically remove material. What we're going to do is we're going to profile this shape right here, but more importantly, we're going to concentrically profile it. We're going to start out here, and we're going to start profiling and work our way in until we finally come in and cut the shape. All right, so let's get started. We're going to head over to the left-hand side of the screen, and from the main toolbar under the cam category, we'll select stock tool pass, and then mill profile. I want to climb cut, so I'm going to left-click right here. I'm going to make sure I select the proper arrow, so I'm going to left-click that. And I can come down here and left-click the very end of this, or I can simply hit F3 on the keyboard, and one CNC will select the rest of the geometry. I'm done selecting, so I'm going to right-hand mouse click. I already have a tool selected and the turret position looks good. All this looks fine, so we'll click Next. All right, now we have our clearances. I've got a clearance plane of a half inch. Our plunge clearance is set to 50 thousandths. That's where it's going to start to feed down. The top of the material is set to Z0. And I already have the proper Z depth in here, but there's something I'd like to point out to you. I'm going to make this a little different. I'm going to put in minus 0.5. Let's say I didn't know what the proper Z depth was. Let's say that we had this model imported in and I had no idea where this depth was. Well, if I wanted, we could come over here and grab this pick Z option. As soon as I do this, the dialog box disappears. Now you've got your cursor and you can snap any 3D vertice that you'd like. I'm just going to simply left click that vertice right there. One CNC extrapolates the Z depth of that vertice and pipes it in right here for our final Z. So that's a real handy option or, or feature there within 1CNC is the pick Z option. We're going to click next. Cut levels looks good, so we'll go with next on that. All right, so now we're profiling, and but we want to concentrically profile, so now these values are important. Uh, we've got your auto step over. That's a percentage of the tool diameter. I already have 65% in there. But if I uncheck this, you could also type in a decimal amount. So for example, I could say, hey, I really want to step over 400 thousandths. Uh, I'm going to push this back, though, to a percentage of the tool diameter. So let's put 65%. Notice, too, that when you put that percentage in, 1CNC gives you the decimal equivalent down here in the grayed out area. Now, what's also important is that we activate this remove amount with this checkbox here. Now, the remove amount, I want you to think of that as an offset from this original shape that we selected. So the remove amount could be a half inch. It could be anything. It could be 800 thousandths, an inch 250 two inches and so on. It could be whatever you want, but just think of the remove amount as an offset distance out here. It's important to activate that if you want concentric profiling. So I've activated that with the check and I've already put in 2.5 for a value there. All that looks good. I'm happy with my lead in and lead out value, so I'll click finish. And there you go. There's the concentric profiling to machine that shape there. Let's preview this really fast. We'll come up here, right click, and we'll select preview tool pass. And you can see now that the tool is starting outside. There's my depth of cut. And I think I had 375 thousandths for the depth of cut on that. So after it performs that first uh, concentric pass to the right depth, then it will come over and perform the next concentric pass. And that step over is set to 65% of the tool diameter. All right, very, very powerful feature within our mill profile command. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.